Corrin Simpson. Here's Quinn. Smuggles it through to Simpson and Aluko. This is good stuff. It's Sonny Aluko for Hull, who score a lovely goal from Hull City. And in the eighth minute, they take the lead at Ashton Gate. Well, there's only one word for it, and that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant football, brilliant touches, brilliant movement, and a brilliant finish. And they have looked sharp. They've looked sharp on the ball hole. They look hungry. Stephen Quinn starts it. Could go wide left, but no, he wants to take... A more direct route down the middle, middle and then the link-up between Aluku and Jay Simpson. First class. Look at this between the two strikers. Absolutely wonderful passing, wonderful movement. And a really top draw finish. And at the end of a move like that, it got what it deserved. It really did. I'm sure he will have really appreciated that. Because the only thing from a Steve Bruce's perspective is his team have carved out couple of good opportunities since the goal. I haven't been able to extend their lead because you do feel if they can get a two-goal cushion, it may be a bridge too far for Bristol City. Taylor, Pearson, can he keep it alive? Yes, he can, and Bristol City are level. Their best moment of the match yields a goal, and Stephen Davis levels it up. Well, just as I was saying, it's almost right on cue, isn't it? I was just saying... Steve Bruce's team have had the chances to extend their lead. They haven't taken them. And how often do you see this? A team, really, that have not been in it. They simply have not been in it. But this is excellent work. Ryan Taylor does really well to get the ball in. I think it's Stephen Pearson, isn't it? Pulls it back. And Davis does the rest. Look at his movement, Davis. He knows exactly the kind of area that Stephen Pearson can pull that ball into. And he goes into it and that's emphatic it's an emphatic finish and the first thing Ben Amos has had to do is pick the ball out of his net now Aluko still on for Aluko here oh. super save by Heaton that was headed for the bottom corner back with Quinn oh. and it's in May well go down as an own goal, but having made a wonderful save, Heaton beaten as it bubbled over the line, and Hull City are ahead again. Well, poor Derek McInnes. Poor, poor Derek McInnes, because as a manager, you just can't legislate for mistakes like this. Initially, wonderful effort from uh, Aluko. Good save. As it comes out to Stephen Quinn, he pokes it goalwards, and it's Cole Scoos and Tom Heaton. They get in each other's way. There isn't really a Hull City player anywhere near these two. Look at that. It's Cole Scoos. Comes off his chest and into the goal. And how often do you see it? Catastrophes like that happening to the teams, fighting for the lives down at the bottom.